Okay then, this time it is the Dark Rock Pro 4 versus the Peerless Assassin. Let's see which one can handle the heat. Okay, um, right, you've seen the thermals, you've seen what the actual difference is between both coolers are. Now, what I will say, the Thermalright PLS Assassin is a lot louder than the Dark Rock Pro, Pour, uh, Pro 4. It's because Be Quiet is known for the silence. Now, this, this wasn't about hitting a certain Celsius, it was all about pushing the 5900X with these coolers. Now, the Be Quiet cooler is 250, the Thermal Right cooler is 260 watts. And as you could see in the thermals, the Dark Rock Pro 4 lost in Cinebench. But Cinebench is a very hard task on any CPU. And the settings that I were running was ridiculous, 1.3 volts. And I did adjust a lot of the limits. Now, the whole point of the video was to pump up as much power as possible now the dark rock it did get to 183 watts and that was on cinebench and it started the thermal throttle once it's once the once it hit 85 the numbers started going red so that's an indicator that it's coming close to thermal throttling PLS Assassin at 186 watts, it was at 82 Celsius on Cinebench. Ridiculous. But then the Dark Rock Pro 4 came back and spanked the PLS Assassin in 3D Mark. PLS Assassin, 78 Celsius, and that was 65. Spanked it. It showed the PLS Assassin whose daddy it was. Yeah. So. Which one's the clear winner? Well, it's kind of hard because you've got an improvement on Cinebench with the PLS Assassin and then you've got an improvement with 3D Mark. Now, what I will be doing in my further videos, I will be tweaking my testing. This is the first one that I've pushed the 5900X above its, base, uh, above its power limit 
and what I want to say is for you guys to bear with me until I start dialing it in. Now, I didn't go above 186 watts because I didn't feel comfortable going that hat over. The next head-to-head uh, -head video I do, I'm going to be aiming for 190 to 200 watts. And hopefully the CPU coolers will handle it. But the whole point of me overclocking or even just putting up the power draw is to see what these coolers are capable of. And I hope with this series that you guys get to know which cooler is the best for you. The What the amazing thing is with these both coolers is the price difference. Now this is the PLS Assassin 120 Black. It's not the SE, this one is the original PLS Assassin. So it's, it is initially bigger. And the Dark Rock Pro 4, it... For the price, this sometimes will go down to 75, but I've recently found it on Amazon for 80. That, I've seen it go down to as low as 35 pound, but at the moment, the, the black version is at 40 pound. There is a 40 pound difference in price. That is ridiculous. Now, yes, 3D Mark CPU test does initially favor high clock speeds, but, Cinebench is an all-core load. So at all-core, PLS Assassin, fantastic. So it probably would be better for editing and stuff like that. Where the Dark Rock Pro 4 would come in handy is primarily gaming. Where it won't utilise every single core, but it will utilise a single core, or maybe three or four cores, but it needs a higher boost in the clock speeds. So... I hope this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will be making sure to go higher in the wattage, and this is obviously the first one I've done. So please bear with me. That's why I didn't go any but any higher, and I didn't want to risk breaking the CPU because it's the only 5900X I want, and I do not want to spend money on buying a new one. But if it does happen because of my stupidity, I will make sure I buy one. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I make oh. Hopefully you guys will subscribe because a lot of you that watch my content don't, aren't subscribed. A majority of you are from America. Big thank you to my American fans. I do really appreciate it. And my uni United Kingdom fans. So, this is Richard for Welshie Tech. Goodbye.